you have arrived. The global positioning system gives us a unique new capability for measuring the very slow, steady accumulation of strain on the fault system. The Southern California Integrated GPS Network is this array of 250 GPS stations throughout Southern California. Half of the nation's earthquake risk is in Southern California, and about a quarter of it is in Los Angeles. So that's why we've gone ahead and put in this new state-of-the-art monitoring system here. The GPS array works by receiving satellite data from all of the GPS satellites that are in view. By doing that, we can then position each site very precisely. And through time, we track the positions of those points. So we see the strain building up on the whole fault system. When an earthquake occurs, the stations all move, and we measure that as well. The vehicle navigation GPS receiver is much simpler and just takes part of the GPS data. So it positions within about 20 feet, whereas this kind of GPS equipment here can position to within about an eighth of an inch. This station was installed a couple of years ago. So within those two or so years since it was installed, it's already moved by about this much. This whole mountain that we're standing on has moved towards the northwest by about four inches with respect to the interior of the North American continent. With a GPS network, we essentially are just measuring the location of points. So we can take two points on the Earth, and we see how they, they change. So as these points get closer together or farther apart, they tell us about that elastic energy that's being stored up and how future earthquakes may behave. We take those data and we put them into computer models. And in the computer, we can speed up time and run models that go for thousands of years and then display that visually so that we can see fringe patterns and where there are earthquakes, there are fringes, and the bigger the butterfly pattern that you see, the bigger the earthquake that has occurred. Each color fringe is about six centimeters of motion, so you can actually go count those fringes and find out how much motion occurred. Then we try to understand how the whole fault system behaves and how earthquake faults interact. One of the very interesting things we've learned is that one earthquake can speed up an earthquake on another fault and make it happen, or actually turn off an earthquake on another fault. And that's very interesting, so we need to use the models and the data to understand the fault systems. So we're hoping to use GPS to zoom in on where the hazard is the greatest, especially in Los Angeles. Because there are so many people there, we really need to map the strain and the hazard in more detail. 